What's up guys, Ryan here. Um, still in my living room, like many of you. And what I'd like to do today is bring you a few variations to some of those fundamental movement patterns that you guys are already familiar with in deadlift, squat, lunge, and press um, to help condition the body to handle the planes of the golf swing. Um, those being the frontal plane or side to side, these are movement planes, or the transverse plane, um, that being around our body. So there's really three planes of motion, okay? Sagittal plane or in front and behind us, frontal, which is what I just described, and then transverse. A lot of us live our life right now in the sagittal plane, okay? We walk forward, we walk backwards, we type, we sit down, we stand up, we get in our car and drive and travel. Very rarely, are we moving laterally and all around, okay? We used to do that when we played a lot of sports, we played on the playground as a kid, and as a young age, at a young age, uh, just being more active. Now that we're somewhat inactive and jockeying a desk, unfortunately, um, if you don't use it, you do lose it. So this is a good way to, to condition your body for the tee box without actually standing over and smashing golf balls. So simple stuff. What I have is a light dumbbell, um, I have a power block, but you guys at home, you know, 20 pound dumbbell, 30 pound dumbbell, whatever you have, uh, even a duffel bag, uh, a milk jug, a big five gallon water jug, really anything uh, will work for this deadlift pattern or this squat variation uh, following the deadlift pattern. So simple stuff. As we all know, a deadlift, okay, ground up power, and ground up strength, okay, all we're just going to do obviously is pick up a weight up off the ground with great form, right? That's an extended spine, flat back, okay? Sit the hips back, okay? Drive the hips forward as you pick it up, squeeze the glutes, simple stuff, right? That's sagittal plane though, that's not golfish, okay? So what if we just simply added some rotation? So now we have a rotational deadlift, up, boom. Pretty simple, okay? You're gonna rotate through the lead hip, and almost <clears throat> pigeon toe the toes at 90 degrees, okay? You can even work both sides if you wanna alternate sides and get a little bilateral internal and external rotation at each hip. Now, if you look at how the hips are driving that exercise, that's exactly, okay, how they crank in a golf swing. Simple variation, give that a shot. Next one we're gonna do is a rotational squat, or what I like to, I like to do it a kind of a dumbbell clean and rotational squat. This again is ground up power, but now we're working a little decel on the catch. This is a little bit more athletic, so, uh, you know, if you're comfortable with doing this, go for it. If not, work up to it, break it down, work in pieces. Simple stuff, from here we're gonna deadlift, catch, okay, squat, and rotate, simple. Okay, if you want to get a little bit more dynamic, actually allow the dumbbell to load you, okay, eccentrically. Okay, that's just another way to kind of drive a nice overload in the eccentric phase and get a nice stretch reflex on the way out. It's a little bit more power dominant than the one previous, which is more of a strength tension type exercise. All right, last one, a press. Simple, so we did deadlift with the deadlift variation we did squat, okay, or dumbbell clean with a rotational squat on the way out. Rotational variation, very golf specific, training the golf athlete in you, okay. The next one we're gonna do again is a simple press pattern, okay, which we all know, right? We all know the vertical press, okay. This time we're gonna rotate out of it. So we're gonna squat, rotational press, squat. Rotational press, you wanna drive ground up, okay? And accelerate the weight towards the sky. Again, cranking through the hips and working that total body ground up power. Now, if you wanna get a little ambitious and you wanna add or increase the dynamic, now we can add some frontal plane load. What I'm gonna have you do is do a lateral squat and rotary press. So lateral squat, rotary press. What are we doing there, okay? 
We're adding frontal plane and transverse plane together. And we're working some lateral drive, okay? Off that power leg or that trail leg into the lead hip. All golf patterns, all golf specific, all very athletically driven to drive that inner golf lead in you and help you drive the ball 20 yards further down the fairway. See you in the next video.